Welcome, everyone. Welcome to another Silicon Labs product podcast. Today, I have my good friend, Chong Lee. Uh, Chong, uh, he's joining us. He's the Senior Manager for Business Development and Marketing for our IoT Industrial and Commercial Business Unit. So really excited to have Chong on board. Thanks for joining us, Chong. Thanks, Carl. Pleasure to be here with you. Sure. Well, uh, before we start, I can't. I was watching TV this weekend and I saw the uh, European Cup and I saw that your your team, Denmark, is doing quite a, a bit of noise there. Have you been uh, following the soccer? Oh, you can't avoid that. Um, you know, it's a, bit, a little bit of a, a, a fairy tale telling here from Denmark. Uh, everybody's talking about it. It started off uh, pretty dramatic with the uh, with somebody feeling not so well on a first match, uh, and that had an effect to the entire team. Uh, but that eventually evolved to an incredible team, really working well together, playing well together. That eventually made it to the last four. And you know, we're just looking forward to uh, here on Wednesday, uh, really, uh, you know, going out there and and play the best that the this team can to win over uh, England here on the semifinals. Yeah, I, I really enjoy watching soccer. It's just so strategic the way, you know, they, they like you say, work together, but they're passing and they're the way they fall back or press forward. I've always been fascinated by the game of soccer. So, but that's pretty exciting. I, I think uh, I'd love to see Denmark make it to the final two. That would be uh, awesome. So, well, you're here today. I want to talk to you a little bit about your new role. I know we've worked together for quite a few years and you've been focused specifically on electric shelf labels. And I know you won't take credit for it, but we've had a lot of success. I was wondering if you could talk to uh, the listeners about what you're doing now. I, I think you have a new challenge, a new role. Uh, can you explain to the listeners how your new role is going to help them and help Silicon Labs? Absolutely. And thanks for the, uh, you know, inviting me to uh, elaborate on this. But as you said, you know, I can't really take credit for all of the success with uh, retail and electronic shelf labels. Um, the growth rate in retail and with you know electronic shelf label uh, specifically is indeed overwhelming. Um, the credit really goes to the awesome team here, right? I mean, the contributors to our Series Two platform and um, the uh, the account team for their amazing customer relations. Um, so the tremendous success that you are referring to here is unequivocally a result uh, of the great work that you know our teams have really been uh, contributing to. So. All of the thanks gives, you know, really goes to the R&D team, the product management, the the uh, the apps team, uh, field application engineers, sales, and everyone involved in uh, in Series Two. Regarding, um, you know, the uh, the new responsibilities. Um, so uh, let's have a look at the two business unit that we have within IoT. We have uh, one unit that is called the Home and Life, and then uh, another one called Industrial and Commercial, as you know. I'm going to refer to uh, industrial commercial as INC um, going from here. In my view, there's a, a key difference um, between these two BUs. Um, and, and I see them as um, B2C and uh, B2B environments, you know, business to consumer and business to business environment. Um, because, you know, in the home and live BU, we are essentially addressing consumers in the home. Um, whereas in the INC business unit, I see it as that we're addressing the B2B environment as our customers from those segments are really deploying their products and services to environments where other business operates, right? Uh, and, and essentially higher up the B2B value chain. And within INC, um, we have a, a very fragmented portfolio of, uh, of application that we must support. Uh, and we split that into essentially three segments. One is called smart city. Uh, the other one is called industrial and building automation. And the third one, retail and commercial, which is as mentioned earlier, the, the fastest growing segment. And each of these segments have many um, customers that we really want to leverage uh, the relationship with um, by building long-term partnership. We want to really position Silicon Labs as thought leaders and trusted advisors in this IoT space. Um, and to do so, we're gonna to need to engage with um, a lot of the stakeholders of the value chain and you know, works with like system integrators to understand um, the business models, the, uh, uh, the installation procedures, the business workflows um, you know, um, that our customers' products are essentially contributing to. So basically we need to understand 
our customers' customers and create partnerships with system in integrators to position us as, as these trusted advisors. Um, so if we take um, the retail space as an example, um, and when we're in contact with like a, re and, you know, a major retailer chain, what we really want to do is you know, get into that conversation and, and provide the guidance around how Silicon Labs can help the retailer to understand what IoT technology has a fit and eventually also help them to connect with potential partners that we we'll work with. Yeah, I, we've seen that before, right, Chong? We've done it uh, in other segments where the best way to have the B2B relationship uh, take off is to really understand you know, who, what are their customers, uh, what are, what's that business uh, requirement. And so having someone like yourself or people in, in, on your team getting closer to those businesses and understanding their requirements and their customers' requirements it just makes it way easier for us to align our products, align our software uh, to, to, you know, really help them take hold of that market. So what, what, are, what are some of your, you've talked a little bit about it, but what are some of your initial goals uh, to improve the engagement in those markets? Great question. In my thought process, um, you can say what really helped us create great partnerships is really through um, a lot of the marketing activities, the marketing investments that we actually do a lot of here with uh, you know, as Silicon Labs. Um, many of our customers today do recognize that you know, Silicon Labs is, is a leader in IoT wireless, right? I mean, we've been engaged with, with a lot of them for many years uh, when it comes to embedded software and hardware development. Uh, and you know, while we have uh, provided uh, you know, eminent support and guidance to our customers, uh, to ease, you know, the integration of our products, uh, to assist them to shorten the um, uh, the development cycle, and, and to contribute to uh, essentially reducing the time to market. We also, you know, identify some of these uh, common grounds where we can tell our success stories. And I personally would like to tell as many success stories as I possibly can with our customers, you know, because they are really the way I see it is that they are really our heroes of IoT. Um, you know, the applications that are being deployed uh, by our customers cover so many use cases and workflows, uh, which is just a fragment of what the audience uh, becoming aware of, you know, how those devices that are contributing to their experience is actually an IoT device. So, you know, we, in the early days, and I think still today, um, there's a common saying that uh, IoT researchers, right? They, they, they say that consumer devices in, for example, smart home have really captured most of the attention of IoT in the past years. But when it comes to B2B applications, that, would, that segment, that area would actually grow much faster and become you know, twice the consumer market coming years. Um, the opportunities for IoT of, of the INC applications are just you know, really waiting for us to bring them to the surface for broader awareness. So by telling our stories together with these IoT heroes that we call them, we want to um, leverage those stories to long-term partnerships, which I believe, and you know, at the end of the day, that will you know, eventually contribute to joint uh, and future business development activities. Great, yeah, I, and I, I think it just goes to say, even in the B2B market, awareness is, is so important for leading edge technology like IoT. You know, even competitors sometimes aren't aware of how close their, their competitors are of releasing a new product, or they don't understand the complexities of it. So the more that you guys can promote those new advances in the B2B market, I think it's going to do well for our customer, our partner, but it's also going to spur some of their competitors to say, hey, let's take a look at what they're doing. And it, the adoption will increase. Uh, and, 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 you know, to be sort of selfish, it's really hard for other people to recognize where Silicon Labs plays in those applications. So it's great for us, sort of the Intel inside, you know, marketing scheme way back in the past to allow people to recognize what a pivotal part Silicon Labs is to enable those, those uh, businesses to provide that. So you mentioned a little bit about these marketing opportunities and I, and I, you know, I think it's really important that we bring this up. You and I are working uh, pretty heavily on uh, our Works With event that's going to be happening in September. And so why don't you talk to our listeners about what's exciting about Works With 2021, specifically for the industrial and commercial segment? 
Absolutely. So, you know, as you know, you know, last year when we kicked off the first event um, by Silicon Labs, uh, you know, works with 2020, it was all around smart home and what a great success that was, you know, really being able to attract Amazon and Google and a lot of the uh, innovators and disruptors in the smart home space um, that that really generated the motivation and the incentive to to uh, to kick it off with uh, an expansion of uh, of other tracks to the works with events 2021. So, you know, I'm really excited to see that we have been able to add the smart city tracks and also the industrial IoT tracks to uh, works with 2021. You know, they have uh, we have a lot of these um, the smart city uh, enabled or smart city relevant tracks that uh, will help and educate our audiences with how to develop, you know, and how to to wisely connect a lot of these devices, uh, like in the smart metering space or in the street lighting space, in order to address the smart city infrastructure. We have a lot of thought leadership sessions in the industrial IoT where we're taking a lot of the innovative uh, and disruptors in the space of machine learning and artificial intelligence to talk about how you can create um, very intelligent devices to consume, you know, battery consumption to make your products out there in the industrial space have a longer uh, lifetime when they're deployed in an area that is, you know, far away from from normal reach, so to speak. And we have, um, you know, retail stakeholders joining us to talk about how uh, the retail space is really transforming uh, into a much more online and a much more, uh, you, call, you can call it more like a, a omni-channel experience, so to speak. So I'm really excited for, for those, you know, sessions that we're pulling together here and expanding the, the works with events agenda with smart city and industrial IoT uh, sessions. In addition to that, it's really exciting to see that we are able to, you know, expand if for both of the keynotes, we have some exciting uh, information and exciting uh, thought leadership with some uh, some important speakers uh, that would like to share uh, some you know thoughts around how CSA and Matter, you know the recent um, uh, announcement from the Connectivity uh, Alliance, uh, and how Matter have a, an importance into the industrial and commercial segment as well. Uh, and or for day two keynote, we have some exciting, um, you know, knowledge sharing and some perspective on how you can build up a smart city infrastructure scene from uh, all the way up from the city management perspectives down to, you know, the end devices that goes into your house that contributes to a, a much smarter city infrastructure. You've done a great job of outlining those, those tracks and the segments within them. Why don't you share... I, we don't have enough time. We have over 35 partners this year, which is amazing and it's great. But why don't you mention a few that you're excited about? You mentioned all those different segments. What are a few of the partners and customers that we have that are participating in the event that you can speak to? Absolutely. So if you look at, you know, in the municipality infrastructure, this is where uh, we're going to have a, a bunch of exciting topics that we would like to cover. Um, within the municipality infrastructures that is part of the smart city infrastructure, there's a, there's a very important um, and, and relevant uh, technology coming up. And this is the Wison technology that I'm referring to. With Wison, uh, we are working with uh, Pillion. We're working with other stakeholders and uh, contributors that are integrating Wison technology into the applications to make the smart city infrastructure even smarter. And we have some sessions here that, that will eventually dive into how you develop Wison application and why Wison is such a competitive and, um, and, and a really flexible and scalable solution to address a large scale network as a smart city infrastructure. So really, you know, looking forward to specifically talk about the Wison technology and the partners and the alliances surrounding Wison. Yeah, the, the, the smart cities and the Wysun tracks are, are chock full of, of valuable, I wouldn't even call them testimonials, they're really educational tracks, where these people, they're, they're talking about the solutions that they're presenting out in the marketplace. And so if you attend works with, you're going to learn from people that are actually producing products. And that I think is the most valuable way to train people uh, versus, you know, having us Silicon Labs talk as qualified as we are to have people who have 
embedded our products and our software and their solutions uh, in, in Y-Sun or in shelf labels or in uh, machine learning. To hear that from those customers is, is super valuable. And I think it's a better way to learn for, for our attendees. So I'm, I'm excited about that as well. So uh, we're running out of time. Uh, I have one more question for you regarding works with, and that's, I sort of lead it into it with my response. How do you feel Silicon Labs is qualified in a unique way to, to pull off the event? I mean, we're, 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 we have a pretty big net there with both the, the home and life and now the uh, industrial and commercial uh, segments. Why do you think uh, an attendee should attend works with and what is Silicon Labs going to provide them that you don't see another supplier uh, providing that opportunity? Excellent question and also a very important one to address. Um, and it goes a little bit back to my initial comment about Silicon Labs. We're really being becoming or is already the center of IoT wireless. If you think about all of the different wireless connectivity that are necessary out there to deploy into various applications, Silicon Labs is the one-stop shop, you can say, place to go, right? This is where you have all of the IoT wireless that is needed for whether you need short-range connectivity or long-range connectivity, the world-class PSA Level 3 certificate of you know, wireless security, you name it, we have all of the technology pieces to create a, a scalable and flexible IoT wireless uh, application for your product. Um, so, you know, based on that and based on, on the acknowledgement that we have received, uh, you know, across the, uh, the semiconductor, um, you know, industry, um, you can't avoid, uh, you know, uh, recognizing Silicon Labs is your, you know, your, your IoT advisor, so to speak. So when we're there, you know, promoting our solutions, we do get a lot of acknowledgement from a lot of these stakeholders. And by being able to bring them all together, this is absolutely a show that you don't want to miss. I, absolutely. And uh, just a reminder for everybody, I didn't mention it. This is happening September 14th and 15th. It's uh, free to attend. Last year, we had over 6,000 people register and we had 3,000 attendees. So as Chong mentioned with the keynotes and with all the, we have 65 classes this year, Chong. That's right. There are... Yeah, there are so many opportunities uh, for an individual to visit the website. It's workswith.scilabs.com and find, find what interests you. Because as Chong and I have talked about, there are a lot of new opportunities this year to learn probably something that appeals to your, your company or your interests. So take, take an opportunity to check that out. Is there anything else you'd like to share with the audience before we sign off, Chong? Any uh, maybe website or uh, event upcoming that you'd want to draw their attention to? Well, you know, I, I just want to mention that, you know, you know, at Works with this is really a very great mix of product launches that we're looking forward to. It's a, it's a mix of knowledge sharing from a lot of experts in the IoT world. And we have speakers from... Um, from market leaders who wants to make a difference, who actually makes a difference in the world of IoT that will be joining us and speaking at the keynotes, right? So, you know, really by, by joining uh, or works with event, you aren't really just attending, you know, another event, so to speak, right? You're really, uh, you're getting involved, you're, you're getting connected and, and you're expanding your network for business growth uh, that eventually will have a significant impact to a world right here. So, I mean, final remark, don't miss it. Thanks, John. Yeah, I, I, well, unfortunately, we won't have, we won't be able to miss it. <laughs> we're, we're required to be there, but it's one of the few things I enjoy being a part of. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's quite a feat to, to pull off, but it's been uh, re very rewarding. So, all right. Well, again, Chong, thanks for uh, attending and helping us put this podcast together. Again, I always like to sign off with our listeners. Uh, please be safe, uh, take care, and until next time. We'll see you then.